Oh, everybody is amazed at how they are so closed mouth. No questions are allowed at her book tour. Everybody has to stay back at a distance. Very, very, very controlled. And it makes the Democrats, I think, wonder, is she really up to a campaign? Is she really up to a debate? Well, when she was asked in her very first live interview of the campaign season with Wolf Blitzer on CNN on Thursday, uh, he says, uh, what? Name your number one accomplishment. And uh, she kind of stammered and she didn't really have an answer. She said instead that anyone who's interested in her accomplishments should read my book, Hard Choices. My son Lance said, well, maybe that's because her sole accomplishment uh, is to have hired a ghostwriter. So I guess even Hillary will have to read the book to find out what accomplishments that ghostwriter fabricated for her. Because all we can see is a criminal in office. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with some more clips of the GOP debate as well as some comments. We'll be right back. This is the third hour of the show. In the fourth hour, Joe Biggs is going to be joining us as host. Today in the Overdrive segment, Joe Biggs will be talking to Aaron Cohen of Sage Dynamics to talk about how to react in a real-world scenario with an active shooter or other real-world scenarios. So don't miss that. Very, very important information that may uh, help you to survive a situation like that. Speaking of survival, we still have a uh, hourly uh, flash special. Uh, we have uh, Survival Shield X2 is uh, still 15% off the money bomb. It is going to sell out this weekend. We have extended free shipping until uh, midnight tonight. We have extended many of these have uh, Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine and DNA Force are both 25% off right now at the InfoWarsLife.com store. Again, you can get both of those at 25% off that Survival Shield X2 and DNA Force at 25% off plus free shipping because that's available as part of our extension of the uh, Money Bomb thank you and the specials that we've had there. Again, DNA Force has the compound bio PQQ backed by 175 clinical studies. Look at the comments, look at the reviews there. You can pick that up now, 25% off for that and nascent iodine. I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the GOP debate and some of the things that have merged in the last couple of days about the comments that uh, Carly Fiorina had. And of course, we look at the economic news today. Uh, the stock market had an immediate uh, negative reaction to the fact that the Federal Reserve did not raise interest rates. It dropped, uh, opened up this morning. All the exchanges in the United States were down about 1%. But let's look at some other economic news. There's an article from Zero Hedge. This is why Hewlett Packard just fired another 30,000 people. And he writes, remember when Hewlett Packard announced that it would fire 58,000 people this last February? just so the company could spend even more billions of dollars in stock buybacks to make its shareholders filthier rich? Well, he points out that now they are going to fire another 30,000, an additional 30,000. Hewlett Packard is going down the drain, folks. And this is his comment, and I think it's a great comment. I want to read this uh, from uh, Zero Hedge. He says, and so, dear 30,000 formerly well-paid computer engineers and technicians... Welcome to the fast food recovery, precisely. And I have to say that Carly Fiorina is the perfect example of the Peter Principle. Maybe we should start calling it the Paula Principle in her particular case. As Donald Trump rightly pointed out, she had made a disaster of the company that she was at before Hewlett Packard. When she went to Hewlett Packard, uh, when they finally fired her after it was five or six years that she was there, they drove her out. The stock had tanked. Uh, over 50%. In other words, to put this in perspective, when we look at the uh, economic crisis in Greece, what happened to the Greek banks after they were shut down for a couple of weeks? What happened with the uh, depressed financial expectations for the Greek banks was essentially what happened to Hewlett Packard while Carly, Carly Fiorina was their CEO. So she wants to run on that as an accomplishment. Uh, she ran on that as an accomplishment and was rejected uh, for senator in California. So now she's trying to fail up again uh, going uh, for the presidency. Now, one of the things that she was lauded for by the uh, neocon press like Fox News and just fawning over her. And, of course, Mika Brzezinski as uh, a big new Brzezinski's daughter just loved Carly. Could not say enough kind things about Carly Fiorina. So Brzezinski's daughter loves her. Uh, Fox News loves her, but Planned Parenthood doesn't love her. They said she 
she, uh, the, the conservative press is talking about what a great job she did calling Planned Parenthood out. Well, quite frankly, I don't think she did. Quite frankly, these Planned Parenthood videos, this investigation is done by the uh, Center for Medical uh, Progress, that expose, there is some horrendous stuff that is done there, real stuff that is done there. But it feeds the narrative that it is phony when you elaborate on what was shown. When you take one questionable uh, edit that they did out of all of these videos that they did, there was one questionable edit where they showed some other footage that was not part of their expose and edited that in for effect, and they had a narration there. I think that was a mistake for them to do it, but it was a much bigger mistake for Carly Fiorina to talk about that incident and that incident alone and make that into uh, a fictional account. You don't need to lie about it. You don't need to elaborate on it. You don't need to fabricate something that wasn't there. The real truth is bad enough, and we undermine the case when we do that. I don't think she deliberately meant to undermine it, but she did not do a great job of defending this because Planned Parenthood came out with this letter to her today, this open letter. Dear Ms. Farina, last night in the Republican primary debate, you challenged people to watch videos of Planned Parenthood, which you said included graphic and disturbing images that you described. I'm writing to tell you directly that your claims are completely false, that the video footage you described simply does not exist. Literally, there is no such scene of any heavily edited, widely discredited videos that have been released by anti-abortion extremists. Your statements last night, while vivid and attention-getting, were completely untrue. Exactly. She fabricated it just like she fabricated her tenure at Hewlett-Packard. And there's something else that she fabricated, too, in order to propagate this failed war on drugs. Let's play this clip about her daughter, where she talks about her daughter dry, dying from a drug overdose. And Jake, I, I, want, I, want, to bring, I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. It's been done over and over again, Christy, I by people like you. I hope that I am the only person on this stage who can say this, but I know there are millions of Americans out there who will say the same thing. My husband Frank and I buried a child to drug addiction. Oh my God. So. Yeah. We must marijuana. invest more in yeah. the okay, what kind of drug? marijuana or what? I don't know. I agree with states' rights. But we are misleading young people when we tell them that marijuana is just like having a beer. It's not. And the marijuana okay. the kids are let me Let me chime in here. How many people have buried a child or a family member or a parent because of the war on drugs? We because need, police, SWAT team, killed them. Mm -hmm. Innocent people, even people who were smoking something recreationally. Is that, should that be a death sentence in America? And we need to understand that this war on drugs came from a United Nations agenda, just like Agenda 21. They created an agenda in 1961, complete with four schedules. Schedule one drugs were drugs that said they had no medical use whatsoever. Marijuana was put into that. And the fact that they have medical marijuana exemptions puts a lie to the fact that marijuana is still a Schedule One. But it goes worse than that. Worse than that. We have two constitutional amendments out of 20 something that are about prohibition. We had one that made alcohol, prohibited alcohol. That didn't help anybody. We have people who are dying every year from alcohol overdoses. College students every fall will go to college, get away from their parents, and overdose on alcohol. We could tell sob stories about that. It's a very sad situation. But alcohol prohibition did not stop it, it made it worse. Right. And it was done, though, with a constitutional amendment because we used to have people that gave a flying whatever about the Constitution. We don't have anybody like that anymore. They could care less what's in the Constitution. Where's their constitutional amendment? The constitutional amendment with, with, with 10 and with 9, uh, those amendments say that the government doesn't have any powers that weren't directly given to them. We just had these guys quote about certain issues, but not about the war on drugs, not about the UN's war on drugs. This is a UN agenda that these conservatives are pushing on you. It has killed millions of people in America and across the world. Far more than that, look at the war in, in Mexico. That is a war on drugs. You wanna talk about all the violence coming across? Let's talk about the roots and the war on drugs. That war on drugs that these people have pushed from the UN has created the violence in Mexico. Tens of thousands of people have died there. More people have died there than in Afghanistan. You want to talk about these dangerous drug cartels coming across? They were created by our war on drugs. That's the truth of what's going on here. It's far worse than what they're talking about. Rand Paul did a great job with that. It's great to see him 
that uh, that uh, that down on uh, Jeb Bush and on Chris Christie, the privilege of Jeb Bush and the criminality of that prosecutor, Chris Christie, that disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I the war on drugs has definitely yeah, he, destroyed he, a lot of families and, and their he's futures. He's almost worse than uh, Lindsey Graham. And you can hear that was our live coverage of the debate the other night. Again, that was uh, Joe Biggs, uh, Leanne McAdoo, Jakari Jackson. And as she's talking about how she lost a daughter, you could hear Joe Biggs go, oh, no, are you talking about marijuana? We all know that it wasn't a death from marijuana. What was her, what did her daughter die from? Well, it was reported the next day. I, I did some research, and this is something that uh, International Business Times uh, pointed out. They said, who is Lori Ann Fiorina, Carly's stepdaughter, who died of a drug overdose? Well, she battled addiction. What was she fighting? It wasn't an overdose from marijuana. Surprise, surprise. Guess what it was? She battled addiction to prescription drugs and alcohol and bulimia. She battled with that for a very long time in her life. Carly Fiorina wrote about that in her book called Rising to the Challenge. But listen, her daughter died in 2009 after 38 years of the failed war on drugs. It made absolutely no difference to her daughter's life. It has not made any difference to anybody else's life. But we've had a lot of people, as I pointed out, who have been shot to death by SWAT teams, who have been killed in this prohibition war we used to see during alcohol prohibition. Uh, people riding up and down the streets on the running boards of the Model Ts, shooting people with uh, Tommy guns. We have something far worse than that. It's been going on for a much longer time than that. And I have to say, if Carly Fiorina wants to take the tragedy of her daughter and make that a pity party for herself, use that to inject her into the prohibition debate, rising in Hewlett Packard, or was she rising to the challenge of those around her, her loved ones? That is really where this war on drugs is going to be won or lost by families, by those people who love you, who know you. It is not going to be won by the billy club who in the truncheon and the drug prohibition war. We're going to talk about this more when we come back. But that's the kind of phony debates that we saw from the hero of the mainstream media, Carly Fiorina. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We were just playing uh, excerpts from our live Money Bomb coverage. And we want to, again, thank you so much for supporting us. We're very close to reaching our goal of a million dollars. As a thank you, Alex has extended free shipping uh, till midnight tonight and has extended the uh, specials at, at InfoWarsLife.com until we reach that goal of a million dollars. One of those specials is Survival Shield X2, 15% off. We're continuing that Money Bomb special. That's one of the uh, specials that we've had there. Again, that's Survival Shield X2, nascent iodine, one way that you can supplement your diet with many of the things that they have taken out of many of the essential nutrients that have been taken out as of course they want to add other things in that you really don't want to have in your diet and not tell you about it that's what they call in washington the safe and accurate uh, labeling act of course we are proud of the ingredients that we have in our products here and we thank you for your support again we are offering 15 percent off of survival shield x2 nascent iodine it will sell out this weekend we're absolutely certain we've already sold out of uh, several of the other things that we had their deep cleanse super male are sold out but we do have uh, oxy powder secret 12 also 15 percent off and brain force and silver bullet are 20 percent off again free shipping one of the things that we were talking about when we talked to uh, Paul Joseph Watson, of course, there are social and cultural reasons that we are seeing the population decline in the West, uh, I believe. And, and, of course, as Watson pointed out, we see massive decrease in sperm count and other issues. There's BPA, that uh, the plastic that uh, so many of our food and drinks are uh, uh, packaged in, as well as other things that are being put into the food supply. And whether you believe it's deliberate or not, it is uh, causing a massive effect. And as part of the money bomb, we had uh, uh, Gucciardi and uh, Dr. Group, um, Anthony Gucciardi, talking to Dr. Group about why we're seeing such a revolution with people taking control of their health, taking an interest in their nutrients. Here's what they had to say as part of the money bomb. Why do you think we have such tangible success in the health realm? I feel like every day there's a new story. Every single day there's a new health success. There's a new victory against Monsanto or against some of the CMF stuff. Every single time I go on the news, we have a major victory in the health field. Because it's the truth. I mean, it's, it's, it's undeniably the truth. 
We know for a fact the electromagnetic frequencies are damaging to the body. You know, we come out with solutions for that. We know for a fact anybody can go look.